This is TOW, latest airborne anti-tank weapon of the free world. Effective to ranges beyond 3,000 meters. Lethal against the heaviest tanks, revetments, bunkers. The airborne tow missile system is simple and compact. It consists of a stabilized optical sight and infrared sensor and a number of pod-mounted missile launchers loaded with the proven wire-guided tow missile. Here's how the system works. The gunner tracks his target with the optical sight. The infrared sensor on the sight automatically measures the missile's displacement from the line of sight to the target. The sensor feeds this information to some electronics which generate steering commands for the missile. The commands are sent to the missile by a wire link. They automatically steer the missile onto the gunner's line of sight, causing it to hit whatever the gunner is aiming at. Starting in 1964, the U.S. Army began exhaustive tests of a number of prototype airborne tow systems. In 1972, two of these systems were put in service in Southeast Asia. There, they verified the system's effectiveness in actual combat. The tow missile is 120 centimeters, 47 inches, long, and 15 centimeters, six inches, in diameter. It has two rocket motors, one to launch it, the other to accelerate it in flight. The launch motor burns off before the missile leaves the launch tube. As a result, the launchers require no shielding. Installation is simple. Some eight meters from the aircraft, the flight motor ignites. It burns for only about a second hence leaves no trail which can be traced back to the aircraft. The flight motor accelerates the missile to Mach 1. At this speed, flight times are short. Consequently, exposure of the launch aircraft is minimized and high firing rates are possible. The use of aerodynamic control surfaces makes tow extremely maneuverable. It can stay on the line of sight to a target even though the launch aircraft turns sharply away. Therefore, evasive turns do not impair tow's accuracy. Equally important is the use of a modulated infrared source, rather than a flare, for the sensor on the launcher to track. The radiation from this source is concentrated in a narrow band. Because of this concentration and the source's characteristic modulation, the infrared sensor can easily differentiate between the source and any background radiation. It can track the missile through sun reflections, battlefield fires, and other distractions many times as strong. Thus, tow can be guided accurately to any target the gunner can see. Lastly, the missile is reliable. In literally thousands of firings, it has operated flawlessly better than 95% of the time. Tow's extreme accuracy and reliability are to a large extent due to automated production. Tow is produced at the Hughes Manufacturing Facility in Tucson, Arizona. The line here employs the most advanced fabrication techniques automatic insertion of parts on circuit boards, continuous flow soldering, and automatic winding of the control wire bobbins, to name a few. When the missiles are complete except for ordnance, they are taken to a remote facility. There, the rocket motors are installed and the warheads are attached. Finally, the missiles are sealed in containers from which they'll emerge only when fired. 
The first airborne tow system was configured for the UH-1B. Designated the XM-26 weapon system, the system included a turret-mounted stabilized sighting system and a three-missile pod on either side of the aircraft. Over a period of several years, the XM-26 underwent extensive flight tests. Target tracking proved to be simple and accurate, even on widely maneuvering zigzag approaches. Gunners found they could hit any target they could see. While the XM-26 compiled an impressive test record, this record was subsequently surpassed in actual combat. Deployed to Southeast Asia, tow-equipped UH-1Bs quickly blunted the enemy's tank offensive in the Central Highlands. In May 1972 alone, the two helicopters scored 47 kills, 24 of them against tanks. In addition, they destroyed trucks, bunkers, gun emplacements, ammunition dumps. Here, two Russian-built APCs are destroyed in a single run. For the Army's AH-1Q Cobra attack helicopter, Hughes configured an airborne tow system designated the XM-65. The AH-1Q carries eight missiles in four two-round launchers. The tow missile launchers are not only extremely light, but can be exchanged with other stores to provide a variety of armament loads. For Cobra, the tow site was reconfigured for the new airframe. With no increase in size, the site was modified to provide the space, mounts, and a window for retrofitting a laser rangefinder. The rangefinder will permit accurate measurement of the distance to targets, thereby enabling the crew to take full advantage of the missile's maximum range in avoiding return fire. As in earlier configurations, the tow sight for Cobra is trained by the conventional gunner's joystick. The sight may be used either for launching tow missiles or firing the Cobra's guns. Besides being manually controlled, the tow sight can be slaved to a helmet sight. This capability makes possible exceptionally fast target acquisition. Even before the tow Cobra system was built, its capability had been vividly demonstrated with simulated hardware. The demonstration was conducted by the Joint Attack Helicopter Evaluation Group at Ansbach, Germany. Participants included the U.S. Army, the Army of the Federal Republic of Germany, and the Canadian Defense Force. The aggressor forces consisted of German Leopard tanks, accompanied by tracked air defense vehicles armed with radar-controlled high-speed guns. The defender forces comprised up to three Cobras operating either autonomously or in cooperation with spotters. Against these alerted armored forces, Tow Cobra proved supreme. It scored kill ratios as high as 34 to 1. Subsequently, at the Army's Yuma Proving Grounds, the actual tow hardware was extensively exercised. It proved compatible with Cobra's other armament. Its pod-mounted miniguns, its rockets, and its chin turret. Missiles were launched under all flight conditions. Tow launches from hover, scored hits. Tow launches from straight-in, high-speed runs, scored hits. 
tow launches followed by evasive maneuvers scored hits. All in all, Cobra Tow demonstrated the best accuracy achieved by any helicopter-borne system to date. Convinced of the system's capability, the Army designated Airborne Tow the point target weapon for its advanced attack helicopter before that aircraft was designed. Anticipating the application of Airborne Tow to other helicopters, Hughes has designed the optical relay tube of the site for the Tow Cobra system with a purely structural adapter section. By changing this section, the site can be fitted to such aircraft as the Alouette 3, the OH-6, the BO-105, the Gazelle, and the AB-205, to name a few. In short, the tow airborne system with its unerring accuracy, its proven record in combat, and its fast, agile carriers has added a new and devastating dimension to anti-tank warfare, the air.